mtazamaji hebu sasa tukufahamishe kuhusiana na taarifa za COVID-19 hapa nchini ambapo kiwango cha maambukizi ya ugonjwa COVID-19 huko nchini kimezidi watu 1700. Hii ni baada ya watu 247 zaidi kudhibitishwa kuwa na virusi hivyo. Haya yalijiri huku Wizara ya Afya kikiri kwamba idadi ya Wakenya ambao huenda wameambukizwa ugonjwa wa corona ni ya juu zaidi. Hata hivyo maafisa wa Wizara hiyo wamedumisha kwamba uchunguzi uliofanywa na taasisi ya utafiti wa matibabu Kemri kuhusu chembe chembe za kina mwili ulidokeza kwamba wa Kenya milioni 2.6 huenda wameadhirika kutokana na sampuli ndogo ndogo za vituo vya kuhifadhia damu kote nchini na hivyo basi haujaidhinishwa hauja kunradhi mwenzangu Nancy Okware anakina cha taarifa hiyo Mitandao ya kijamii Ijumaa ilisheheni mtahalo kuhusu matokeo utafiti wa taasisi ya utafiti wa dawa Kemri. Wakenya wakielezea wasiwasi kuhusiana na ripoti hiyo. Kiwewe ni kutokana na habari kwamba Wakenya wapatao milioni 2.6 wanawezekano kwamba walikuwa wameambukizwa virusi vya corona. Ni ripoti ambayo iliangaziwa wakati wa hotbe ya kila siku kuhusu COVID-19 nchini huku Wizara ya Afya kifafanua ukweli wa mambo. And we collected samples from these six regional centers blood representing you know most parts of the country these blood samples were then tested against that test to determine how many of them actually had antibody and how many were negative including county of Mombasa county of uh, Nairobi and a couple of other counties uh, we are able to determine the percent prevalence in other words in every hundred people in that county how many actually have this antibody na ikiwa ripoti hiyo ya mwanzo kuhusu vipimo vilivyofanywa na taasisi hiyo ni ya kuaminika kaunti ya Nairobi na watu 500 ambao huenda wameambukizwa ugonjwa huo instance in Nairobi we found that almost over 12% of the population of Nairobi seem to be uh, uh, seem to have been exposed to this virus remember we are using a small sample and then extrapolating Kemri hata hivyo imesema uchunguzi zaidi unaendelea kwa nini sampuli ndogo tu iliyoangaziwa ambayo huenda isiwasilishe idadi kamili ya Wakenya. Blood donors are not 100% representative of the population. We know for instance that the people that donate blood are younger than uh, the general population and so on and so forth. So these are indicators. When you check for antibodies in, in someone's body, you're not checking for whether that person is infected now you're checking for whether that person has been exposed in the past. Haya mejiri huku watu 247 zaidi wakidhibitishwa kuambukizwa ugonjwa wa COVID-19 na kufikisha 1788 idadi kamili ya walioambukizwa nchini. Nairobi ingali inaongoza kwa idadi ya maambukizi mapya ikiwa na visa 153 ikifuatwa na Mombasa kwa visa 35, Kajado 15, Busia 12, El Hali Kiambu ilikuwa na visa 12. Kwa upande mwingine idadi ya waliopona sasa imefika 2148 baada ya watu 39 kupona na kuruhusiwa kuondoka hospitalini. Hata hivyo watu wawili wameaga dunia kutokana na ugonjwa huo. As of today our case fatality rate is 2.29% compared to the global average of 6.7. So which is a third. So I want to applaud the healthcare workers for the ex excellent work they are doing to manage COVID-19 cases. Na huku saratani ikiwa ni moja wapo ya magonjwa ambayo wengi wa wagonjwa wa corona wanaugua, Wizara ya Afya imezindua mkakati wa kitaifa kuhusu saratani wa mwaka 2019 na mwaka 2030 ambao unatoa utaratibu mwafaka kuhusu jinsi ya kukabiliana na makali ya saratani nchini kwa kuimarisha ubora wa ripoti kuhusu uchunguzi wa mara kwa mara na kuimarisha utafiti kuhusu udhibiti wa ugonjwa huo. Ripoti ya hamasisho kuhusu afya ya matiti pia ilizinduliwa baada ya zoezi la majaribio lililoandaliwa katika kaunti ya Nyeri kukamilika. Nancy Okware Darubini ya Channel 1.